What's up, amazing people? So, guys, I'm um, just finished working out or whatever, get ready to shut it down. And I really wanted to share this before I did, right? So, I did a broadcast and I talked about us needing to make sure that we don't lose the human connection in this virtual world. So, we went to go and pick up our mail and things from our um, P.O. box. And I had this card on the inside of it, right? The card simply says, the world needs more more you right and this car came at a time where i was really trying to figure out like how to shift and what to do and you know am i i know i don't feel like i'm doing enough but should i stay in this lane like how should i do this how, you know what i mean so you you have those times no matter how successful you are where you start questioning whether or not you're being uh, in in that purpose, we like to say. I think we overuse that word too, but that's for another time. But you just want to make sure you're doing the right thing. You want to make sure that you're being pleasing and in sight, right? So then I opened it up and it gets better and better. It says, Nikita, I can't believe you were talking about consistency and here I am with a card that I sent myself with the word on it because it's so important. Consistency is key. Thanks for sharing a good word today, April. So April, I wanna tell you that this came to me in perfect time and well, I received it in perfect time. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so thoughtful. And guys, when I opened it up, like, <laughs> what? This is the card that she was referring to, consistency. And it's also with a picture of me in the background, which lets me know that she's plugged in, she's connected to me, and that she watches me, right? So that right there alone, I'm telling you guys, is unexplainable. And then to put this much thought in it, to send it to me, me be able to get it, open the card, not know who it was coming from, so it's unexpected, right? Those unexpected blessings mean even more. And then it's pretty, it's got the lively colors, it made me smile. Then you turn it on the back and that's her and her family. So now I feel included. You, you feel me? Like I just thought that this act of kindness was just amazing. And she got pretty too. That's neither here nor there. Beautiful family. It says, how you make someone feel stays with them long after your words are gone. Some of y'all need to hear that. This is why we send cards. So this is something that they do. And you know, I don't know if she needs encouragement, but keep doing it. This is amazing. I think that we lose contact and we lose connection with people, but having something this personal, having something that you can uh, make somebody else feel away. I think this is, this is, it's just great, right? So guys, check it out. Is that help us make the world a better place? You can open a free account today and send someone a card that has been on your that has been on your mind. You will both feel better. And it's so true. It's so true. Because I feel amazing. Like I've read it 50 lamb times. I know what it says, so you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it just feels overwhelmingly um wonderful so you can easily go to mail us i'm what i'm talking about y'all look i'm so excited mailsomejoy.com how perfect is that mailsomejoy.com m a i l s o m e j o y mailsomejoy.com go there create you a free account create you a card baby so that you can send it to somebody. You're over here holding petty grudges and all this stuff. You don't want to say sorry. You're trying to wait them out. Baby, don't mess around and a wait ends up happening while you wait. Nikita, what you talking about? You know, the wait, the, the thing before the funeral because somebody will wake up dead and you're over here playing these games and you holding your apology hostage. Life too short for it. And life is too long to live it with that type of foolishness. Huh? It can be too short for some, but it's also too long for others for you to be going through this type of foolishness. Pick up the phone. Let somebody know, hey, I'm thinking about you, just checking on you. Want you wanted to hear your voice. It will do them a world of good. Do the little FaceTime thing. You know what you look fruit phone. You know, y'all be doing them little face 
things and stuff. You know, get on there and do that so that you can see a person's face. You can see, oh, that you text them. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. They in the corner with a liquor bottle in one hand and a knife in the other one. You need to see that they're fine. You need to hear that they're fine. And then after you've done that, guess what? It's still a beautiful notion and confirmation to send them a card to let them know how you feel about them. Thank you again so much, April. I think it's absolutely amazing. If you guys have questions, you can go to Chuck April Broom, the C-H-U-C-K, A-P-R-I-L, B-R-U-M-M, -M, at gmail.com. And I put the information up as well. I really appreciate this. My mom loved cars. She loved cars. And she loved cars with meanings. And this one right here, it means a lot to me. Appreciate you guys. Go love on somebody. Let somebody know what you're thinking about them. Send them a card.